of the kids in your life not having a proper music education? Do you want to ensure your kids can form a family band if they so please? Do you think it's important for kids to have music literacy to be well-rounded human beings? Introducing Save the Music. Save the Music is an organization that bolsters music programs in schools around the U.S. I'm sure you're asking yourself, how, how do, do they, they do it? Well, I'll tell you how. Through funding by wonderful folks like you. Save the Music is able to rebuild music programs across the country! New York City, Newark, New Orleans, West Virginia, Miami, Dayton, Northern California, and Southern California, including nearly 40 schools in my hometown of San Diego, have been affected by Save the Music's work. They've helped hundreds hundreds of thousands of students with their music education programs in thousands of schools around the U.S., including donating over $63 million worth of new musical instruments, equipment, and technology. But they need your help. If you want to save the music too, here's an awesome opportunity for you. Head to the Propeller link for a special sweepstakes. You could enter to win a Gibson SG Standard Tribute donated by Sweetwater and a one-hour virtual guitar lesson with me with proceeds going to save the music. And for every dollar you donate to enter the sweepstakes, Gibson and Sweetwater will double your impact by matching donations to save the music up to $10,000. The more actions you take to support Save the Music, the more chances you have to win that beautiful Gibson SG. No amount is too small, so get to it! Tell your friends, save the music. Surprise! It's actually me, Marty Schwartz. I don't know if you knew it, but that was me imitating that guy the whole time. So thanks for putting up with my crazy infomercial energy. I'm just gonna bring it down to a regular crazy Marty energy right now. So now I've been teaching music for 14 years on the internet, and it's actually a direct result of getting laid off as an elementary school music teacher. It's a very personal issue to me, and I appreciate all the support you can give. So if you wanna to donate to this worthwhile cause, and a chance to win a Gibson SG plus an hour video lesson with me, check the link below. Thanks again for the support, you guys. Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're gonna break down Into the Mystic by Van Morrison. And also, real quick, if you haven't yet, I appreciate so much if you were to subscribe here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. And if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, like free courses and other killer resources, check the link down there. Uh, Let's break it down. I'm gonna show you two different ways to play this song and they're both ways go together really well for a two guitar player kind of vibe. Capo on the third fret and it, we'll play it in C. So you have a C major chord, hammer on on that D string. And that sound, which is in there in one of the guitar parts, that classic chuck sound. That's happening by muting with your palm first, right before the pick hits it. So I'm just digging in to mute it. Not that, but that. G chord is the change. Back to the C. Starts over. I'm just adding a little embellishment on the G string. Second fret open on the D and G string. Work, works great there. It feels resolved when you do it on the D string. So. Now a G chord. Either way, you want to finger it. Only other change, E minor to F, and then the C. Does it again, E minor, F, 
but now G. You can add little embellishments around it. Um, okay, so now check this out. With, with the capo on the third fret playing a C major chord, that is concert E flat. So like, you know, if you're just talking about the music theory of it, the song's an E flat, E flat major. So if we take a capo and we get that E flat going based off of that A shape right there, so I would wanna put the capo on the sixth fret and then base it around A major, and it's gonna match up. That's still a concert E flat major. I mean, I can call it A with the capo. Theoretically, that's an E flat major chord. So you have this. Adding your pinky three frets up on the B string and hammering that B string on the second fret from open. change would go to E. Back to the A. You'd want to go one, two, three, four, four frets up from the capo on the A string with that A minor shape to play the change in this voicing here. D to A. Same thing, four frets up. To D. And then E major. So remember I said it's an E flat major. Or with the capo right there, right? Let's put it back on the third fret. If you were like a solo acoustic artist covering this, I would recommend it this way. If you were, if it was just one guitar. But so you've got, remember, so for that E minor right here, you play the open G, open high E for the E minor shape right here. And then go up a whole step and play second fret G, second fret high E. And then one, two, three, four up on the G string, three up on the high E. So you've got that. And then the F chord. Back to the C. Same thing again. F. And then up to G. And so you're three frets up, barred, and then fourth fret up on that G string. And then you have that classic. Four, three, five, five, 
seven seven up. So. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't yet, once again, I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel and checking the links down there for more guitar learning explosive resources. Anyway, thanks again. We'll see you later.